push one symbolism meaning meaning of the colors meaning of the symbols prices handmade why you can buy it. hello everyone today i decided to share a little bit of ukrainian tradition and explain to you why vishavanka is so important for ukrainians why ukrainians handmade it or buy it and why tourists buying it so vishavanka it is embroidered clothes So it is symbols handmade, something like I have here, symbols that the people handmade on a different clothes, just t-shirts, dresses, towers, jeans, bags. You can even see it on some cars in Ukraine. Ukrainians that love Ukraine, that very patriotic, that love Ukrainian tradition, they have Vashavanka, they have embroidered clothes. As you might know, Ukrainians will have Eastern this, this weekend. We have a little bit later than everyone else and Ukrainians obsessed with buying t-shirts. If they don't have it, they buy it. People like to have old one and they just sort of like emotionally attached to them but it's, it's a huge business in Ukraine because people love those clothes it's a national symbol of Ukraine today I speak about embroidered t-shirts because uh, embroidered tower it's totally different story people are buying it when they want to get married each couple I would say that the wedding in church they have those towers so I will show you um, a map of Ukraine and you can see a symbols on of the region People that are, that are very knowledgeable about Ukrainian traditions, they will buy a t-shirt from the region where they are from. Or um, sometimes you can see a t-shirt, they have a mix symbols. It's okay, lots of people are buying it. People in Ukraine believe that each symbol has a meaning. And if you will look at the t-shirt, you will see uh, not only nice design clothes, people that know the meaning of the symbols, they will see a story behind it. So it could be a story of a people that fall in love with each other and they want to be protected by a good spirits. So they are putting a certain symbols on the t-shirt or ordering those special symbols. They will be protected. So each, each t-shirt will have its own story or its own meaning. T-shirts for a man and for a woman are totally different. I will share with you a screen how a t-shirt for a man would look like. Here are normally men are choosing a white, blue or black or an ornament there depending what they like. Quite a lot of young people right now, they don't even care about the symbols. They just want to have embroidered t-shirt because, uh, because it look good. It suits their eye color. So uh, t-shirts for a woman would look something like that. They will have a little bit more warmer color. You can see a lot of green red when a couples uh, are in love with each other and the families are ordering or buying clothes it will be will have the same symbol it is it is ukrainian fashion and had a roots from ukrainian tradition meaning of the colors just, uh, in most of the cases you will see a white color you can always uh, you can also see embroidered t-shirts with uh, red black blue yellow and multiple colors each color has its uh, its own symbol but once again lots of people don't really bother about it nowadays they just buy t-shirts that they like if you believe in mystery or, or you're interested in ukrainian tradition this is what a tradition say a white color white t-shirts was wearing a girl that was very young and not married as usually mother was giving rating or buying this this a t-shirt for a girl because she wanted that um a good spirits will be will protect the girl from a bad luck or a bad man red color if you want to boost your energy become a little bit more active you have a lot of red color on your red color symbolize love love for life people other people and just happiness black color 
a meaning of land, it's a symbol of land, fertility, hard work, good luck and hard work, probably earning money. But again, different regions will have their own symbolic. I just speak about general, about the symbols. Blue color. Blue color is a symbol of sky and water. Life. Be healed from illnesses. Again, blue color is more, more or less uh, for a man. I have a blue color because the, uh, it's not really embroidered clothes. I just found the t-shirt and uh, it looks a little bit similar. It's not even handmade, but uh, I like blue color. So I bought it's embroidered clothes and it's a shavanka. Men probably would prefer uh, black and blue color. I speak right now not only about the background color, but also about the symbols that you will see on the t-shirt. So if you will see crosses with the, with the blue colors, uh, it's, a, it's a symbol of uh, sky. It is a protection from bad illnesses, for men who are traveling a lot to help them probably earn the money, be a little bit lucky. Green color. Green color is more or less for a woman. If you will see a green background or green symbols, crosses, it, it, those symbols are more or less for a woman. In very old tradition, people believe that the uh, green color will protect from a home from a natural disaster or any other disasters. Gold or yellow color, it's a symbol of wealth. So in all times people had a problem handmade it with a different color so they usually have chosen one particular color, one particular symbol, maybe two, no more. Now uh, mix different symbols, mix different colors, ornaments and so, so on. So once again lots of people are now don't bother about symbols, they just picking up this t-shirts that they will suit and they will look good and pretty. Symbols that you might see on a t-shirt. Once again, each region will have their own symbol depending on probably more important for that region if it's a mountains. As you might know, uh, in the mountains they don't have lots of gardening. They have leaves from what they can take from the woods and uh, with, the, uh, with the help of animals. In mountains they have a beautiful view but not quite a lot of gardening. Probably you have to go a little bit down to have a to have a potato and other veggies in mountains. So they will concentrate on the symbols that they will that will be important for them. Lots of berries, lots of mushrooms and that our animals will be healthy. They will put the symbols that will help them, that represent their beliefs and hopes. So most common symbols that you will see on embroidered clothes, it's stripes, blah, blah, pillars. That's what a Google translation told me. So pretty much those symbols you will see more or less on quite a lot of number of teachers. Between the support and sort of kind of luck in whatever you're doing in life. One more important symbol that you will see on embroidered clothes it's Barahinya. This symbol represents Mother Nature. People is, believe those those symbols connect with your ancestors and your ancestors support you and help you in your everyday life or in your dreams if you have those symbol on your t-shirt. One more symbol, Gelder Rose. Very important symbol for a woman. If you want to be lucky, she will have this symbol. If they have a t-shirt, they will have that those symbol on their clothes. It's a sort of like a given a power for a woman. And symbol for a man, it would be oak. Could be some leaves. If a man want to have luck, he will have this symbol. One, one more symbol, it's rose. So you can see also symbols of rose, stars, different flowers uh, and animals. It's usually if it's animals, it's swans. Swans rep represent a face. Young couple that are about to get married, they are look looking or ordering uh, embroidered tower. And on that tower, designing or combining the, to the towers that will have different symbols, those symbols that will represent the lives that they want to have. Normally they will have swans, represent uh, couples that will uh, live happily ever after. Too. And they will be faithful to each other. They will have a happy life. One more extremely important symbol on embroidered clothes, poppy. People in some villages even now believe that this symbol protects from bad spirit, bad eyes, bad people or any bad magic. So they, they had such a strong belief in the pot. They dried this flower 
uh, and have it in front of the door. People believe that it will protect them from a bad magic. That's why they put those symbol on those uh, on the clothes. Nowadays, don't really bother about those symbols. They are clothes, and it's sort of like a fashion in Ukraine. If you have it, you are Ukrainian. Hollywood stars was dressed up in those embroidered clothes. So there is two types of people in Ukraine, so they are uh, embroidered clothes because they believe in the symbols and they see a story behind the t-shirt or dress or those they ju just want to fit in their surroundings and uh, look uh, patriotic and cool, I guess. So if you want to buy embroidered clothes, it's uh, up to you whether you want to have a handmade clothes or you a fabric product, something good, always ask for someone who uh, know people who can recommend you and say, yeah, this lady is making handmade clothes and I can recommend it to you. If it's not important to you, you can find it on any super souvenirs markets in Ukraine, in different cities, in capital and in Lviv. And if symbols is not important for you, just pick up the, that t-shirt that will suit you good and hopefully, and maybe, who knows, it will bring you luck as well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share and leave me a comment.